Hi, um, I'm very curious. Are you an atheist or a Christian? It was a very objective, objective uh, question. Um, I think I was extremely lucky to have... I wasn't lucky to grow up in the Catholic Church, but the timing of it was when they were changing all the laws. And when you're a kid and laws and rules keep changing, you know, it's only so many nights going home and asking God to forgive me for doubting all these things that seem completely crazy to me. When they're changing, you can't eat meat on Friday during Lent, to you can't eat meat on Friday during Lent if you're over 12, to you can eat fish, um, from the priest can only put the Eucharist on your tongue, to now it can go in your hand, to now lay people can do it. To I mean, males in the <laughs> church getting the most attention. Okay. <laughs> Anyways, I, I learned about the masturbation way after, um, I honestly never really came to, like, a sit down, am I believing this or not? It was a very gradual thing where it just didn't make sense to me, and religion went out of my life, and things seemed to make more sense to me than an invisible man in the sky, and I'm still dealing with a lot of Catholic guilt. I'm a recovering Catholic. Um, so that's what I have to deal with, but I have a much more positive life now. Um, I actually live as a Christian. I love Jesus' message if he was in fact a real person, and the more I study history, if he was, I like him even more. He was like a political activist, dude. Um, totally like a liberal, <laughs> I guess is the cliche. But anyways, um, yeah, it was very gradual. When you change rules enough, and children, and especially me, are very black and white, you can't say this is absolute and then say it's not. And then as I got older, of course, um, when I was about 25, I researched all the history and everything I could get my hands on just to prove to myself I wasn't a spoiled little brat, like, rebelling against my parents. And I did. So it wasn't any one day, I can't really tell you. Um, if you're a Christian, I actually would like to know why you still are if you do use logic and reason. That actually would be very interesting to me. I never, ever since I can remember not questioning, I seriously spent every night with my Our Fathers, Hail Marys, begging, begging forgiveness for even having a thought cross my mind that this is ridiculous. <laughs> Okay, and I do do wish everyone would live by the golden rule. I wish it had not been corrupted. I wish it wasn't used to control the masses and all that. So, yeah, I'd be really interested in hearing your answer, too. Thank you.